I am now going to take you through the new Principal Investigator dashboard, which is the replacement of RF Quick View. When you sign into the new RF SUNY Report Center, your screen will look like this. You will have the option of dashboards, and within that list of values will be the dashboards available to you. In this case, we are going to select Principal Investigator. The Principal Investigator dashboard will return, and as you can see, we have an Alerts tab. We are showing employees terminating on a grant in the next 45 days, projects terming, awards terming, reports coming due, past due reports, new awards created, direct spent at 90% or above, and new person assigned on a grant in the last 30 days. In working with our pilot group, these were some of the key monitoring reports that they wanted to display when they signed into the dashboard. Next you will see we have the My Proposals tab. Here we are showing the COES proposal data. We will display pending proposals, proposals awarded, and proposals list. Then we have the My Grants tab. We are providing several portlets. We are showing grant expenditure detail by monthly date range. We will open up the award portlet and it will provide a list of all awards that that particular user has access to based upon the security. For the Principal Investigator dashboard, we are defaulting the view to direct cost, but the user always has the option to change their view to indirect or the combined view of direct and indirect. As we were informed, since the indirect cost is really a calculation, it's not money available to spend, the PIs prefer just to see their direct cost balance. We provide various prompts to limit the data if you are searching for something in particular. In this scenario here, I will enter an award number, click the Apply button. It will limit the data just to that particular award. As I scroll over, you will see we have a payroll encumbrance shortage column, your current budget, your current expense, your current encumbrance, and your available balance. Anywhere you see these highlighted blue links is where you can drill to get more detail. So I will drill on the available balance. And as you can see, it will return the award summary inquiry that users are accustomed to seeing. And you have the ability to drill on expenditure category to see the detail of those expenditure items and those encumbrance items. One of the nice things about this new report center is you will see you have export options in various formats. I could select PDF, Excel 2003, PowerPoint, a web archive, or various data formats. I could change my sort. In this case, I only have one row, but if I wanted to, I could click the little sort descending and it would change the sorts of the rows to descending order. We have also added a subaward summary, which will provide a list of all subcontracts at a summary level showing the expense, the encumbrance, and the total commitment for that particular subaward E. We have a budget overview tab which will display the direct deficits, accounts that have a deficit, and the direct costs, the monthly award expenditure trend, project level, task level, and a cost share summary. The monthly award expenditure trend, as an example, will provide a monthly view of how you have been spending your dollars on any particular award. I am going to show you a two-month view of a particular award. And here you can see it returned the data and gave me my July expenditures, my August expenditures, and then the combined total per expenditure category. I could also limit the data by category. Maybe I only want to see what have I been spending in general services. You can hit the apply button. I only spent money in the month of August under general services. We have the same ability at the project level and down to the task level. We have a track and people tab for just searching people in payroll expenditures. Then we have an employee payroll distribution tab, monthly payroll expenditure just by expenditure category, monthly payroll expenditure by person, and then we actually have a tab which will just display your fellows information, their expenditures and their encumbrances. We have also added a labor schedule inquiry so they can see the percentage of time 
a person is allocated to their particular award project or task. On the Tracking Purchases tab, we have Vendor Invoices by Award Project Task, we have Vendor Invoice Summary, your Open Purchase Orders, and then we have a PO Summary by Award Project Task, and then your Open Requisitions. We have a tab that's specifically related to travel expenditures and encumbrances. So you, we have a search travel process tab and it provides selections and you click the apply button and it will find all travel expense related items. We have the open travel purchase orders. We have outstanding travel prepayments for schools that use Oracle's prepayment functionality. And then we have the basic all travel expenses processed. We have a monthly summary tab which will provide the monthly award summary reports, the monthly project summary reports, but we've also provided a monthly award summary by category. For those of you who really only look at section A of the monthly summary reports, the PDF version, we have actually just provided a quick little enter my award and month and you will get that display right on your screen without having to go get the PDF, open it up and view that section. Next we have a tracking cash. We provide the ability to search for cash receipts for an award. We show the cash position of all awards and we also provide the ability to see the cash received per month. We have a credit distribution tab, which are for the schools that use the project credit distribution in the Oracle eBusiness apps, and we show the percentage, the credited org, and the credited person for at budget level and expenditure level for fiscal year. We have a tracking accounts receivable tab for searching your accounts receivable invoices. We show your accounts receivable invoices aging by sponsor by award and your outstanding invoices on terminated awards. Next we have a tracking cost recovery tab which will show you you select your fiscal month end and it will show you in this particular portlet we have broken it down by award type so I can see for the fiscal year my federal dollars, my federal flow through, my foreign and my non-federal dollars. And to the right, we have broken this down into a chart so you can see the percentage of your spending for the fiscal year broken down by award type. We also are displaying a five-year trend by award type. This provides the ability to see are your non-federal dollars higher or lower compared to the last four fiscal years, your foreign, your federal, your federal flow through. And we have done the same in regards to budget changes. We have sponsor program funding by award type, which will provide a list based upon the budget changes for the fiscal year, broken down by award type, meaning federal, federal flow through, and non-federal and foreign, your increases and decreases, and then we also show the same pie chart with the percentage. At the very end, we also do provide an overview tab for the PI or the PI's admin staff to explain each tab what the data is that is contained on each. And then we also provide a self-paced navigation course which will tell you how to navigate through the PI dashboard. And that concludes our demonstration of the Principal Investigator dashboard which will be the RF QuickView replacement. Thank you.